years. As I said, our strategy was to try to break new ground, but at the same time not to require use of the new GPU capabilities. For more than a decade, GPUs have imposed a restriction on game engines. Software handles vertex processing, but for the most part, dedicated hardware is responsible for the triangles and other geometry that the vertices form. That means it's not possible to do even basic optimizations, such as aborting processing of a vertex if all geometry that uses it is off screen. PlayStation 5 has a, a new unit called the Geometry Engine, which brings handling of triangles and other primitives under full programmatic control. As a game developer, you're free to ignore its existence and use the PlayStation 5 GPU as if it were no more capable than the PS4 GPU, or you can use this new intelligence in various ways. Simple usage could be performance optimization, such as removing back-faced or off-screen vertices and triangles. More complex usage involves something called primitive shaders, which allow the game to synthesize geometry on the fly as it's being rendered. It's a brand new capability. Using primitive shaders on PlayStation 5 will allow for a, a broad variety of techniques, including smoothly varying level of detail, addition of procedural detail to close-up objects, and improvements to particle effects and other visual special effects.